Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, 我叫林婉如 Today we're going to talk about exchange. In particular, we're going to start with the address box. So,、um, in this box, we have two individuals, Alice and Bob. When we are looking at either the consumption bundle or initial endowment or even the indifference curve of Alice, we're going to start from the bottom left. But when we are looking at the indifference curve of Bob, Or the consumption bundle or initial endowment of Bob, we're going to look at from the top right. So if you have the book, you want to turn the box upside down in order to see Bob's either indifference curves or his endowment. So、um, let W be the initial endowment. So we can see W is here, and it shows that Alice initial endowment is W A one units of Q one. And W A two units of Q two. Now, what about Bob? Bob, you need to look at um from the um top right. So Bob has W B one units of Q one and W B two units of Q two. So um let's say their initial endowment is here, and you can see for Alice, her indifference curve is at level U A, and for Bob. His indifference curve is here, so his initial endowment gives him a level of a utility U B. So their initial endowment is W. You'll be asking, can both Alice and Bob do better or improve their utility level by exchanging? And the answer is yes. In fact, both Alice and Bob's utility can be improved by moving from point W, that's the endowment, to point X. So.、Um, When we're moving from W to X, that means Alice is giving up some of her good one in exchange for good two. So by doing so, you can see Alice's utility level is moving from U A to U A prime. So Alice is doing better. We know for Alice, um, the indifference curve is better this way, and for Bob, it will be the other way around. Um, for Bob, he is doing better if his indifference curve is moving this way. So you can see from point W to point X, both Alice and Bob has their indifference curve improved, and therefore they are both doing better. So in point X, Alice is、uh, consuming X A one units of Q one and X A two units of Q two. So this is X A one, this is X A two, and Bob is consuming X B one units of Q one and X B two units of Q two, and remember for Bob you have to look at the other way around. And we say、um, bundle X is feasible as long as the final consumption of、uh, Alice and Bob for Q one you will sum up to the initial endowment of Q one for both Alice and Bob, same for Q two. So、um, this is how Alice and Bob can improve their utility. And not just Alice, but both Bob and Alice have improved their utility level. Now you'll be asking, well, can we do better than X? Can both Alice and Bob's utility level be improved from point X? And the answer is still yes, as long as you see the indifference curve of Alice and Bob are intersecting with each other, instead of being tangent to each other, then there is room for improvement. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about what are the efficient points. Notice that neither W nor X are efficient because you can still improve. When you can improve, that means hey, that's not efficient. When it's efficient, that means you cannot improve anymore. Just like when it's maximum, that means you cannot go even up. It's already maximum. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.